finished a series Hemos terminado la serie about what does God say about your money. Acerca de lo que Dios dice sobre tu dinero. And this week we're starting a new series. Y esta semana comenzaremos una nueva serie. It's called Look Up and See. Se titula Mira hacia arriba y ve. And so I want to make sure that I want to teach about the return of Christ. Quiero asegurarme de que voy a enseñar del regreso de Jesucristo. I've noticed that whether it's Christian television, he notado que ya sea la televisión cristiana or on the internet, ah, uh, también en el internet, they're not preaching about the return of Christ. No están predicando sobre el regreso de Cristo. The signs that we live in, las señales que hemos estado viviendo, the Bible calls them end of days birth pains. La Biblia la declara como dolores de partos de los últimos días. We are living in times of plagues. Hemos estado viviendo en tiempos de plagas. And I was listening to this comedian. Estaba escuchando a este comediante. And it was not the most wholesome of comedies. No era la mejor de las comedias. He was cussing a lot. Estaban hablando malo. And I was listening to him. Y yo lo estaba escuchando. He said he he obviously is not a Christian. Obviamente no es cristiano. But he said these words. Pero él dijo estas palabras. And the spirit of the Lord convicted me. Y el espíritu del Señor me trajo convicción. I love comedies. Eh, me gusta la comedia. I love watching all these guys. Eh, me gusta ver todos estos hombres. Even Cat Williams, I like watching him. Aún hasta Cat Williams me gusta verlo. They're not Christian men. No son hombres cristianos. Or women. O mujeres. But I was listening to it on Friday. Pero estaba escuchando el viernes. And he said these words. Y él dijo estas palabras. He said, it's shocking to me. Él dijo, es sorprendente para mí. With all the plagues that are going on. Que con todas las plagas que están sucediendo. The Christians aren't speaking. Los cristianos no están hablando. So the world just told the church. Así que el mundo le acabó de decir a la iglesia. Why are you quiet when now is the time to speak? ¿Por qué estás en silencio cuando ahora es el momento de hablar? Why? ¿Por qué? Because the church is silent because the church doesn't know. Porque la iglesia está en silencio porque la iglesia no conoce. We are not raising the next generation to fear the Lord. No estamos educando a la próxima generación a temerle al Señor. We are not teaching the next generation about the goodness and the sovereignty of the Lord. No le estamos enseñando a la próxima generación de la bondad y la soberanía de Dios. So the church has become quiet. Así que la iglesia se ha estado en silencio. Because we're scared of what they may say to us. Porque tenemos miedo de lo que pudieran decirnos. I just realized that Facebook shut me down today. We don't know why Facebook shut my account down. But there was a bunch of other pastors that their Facebook pages were shut down as well. Well, we couldn't put content out today. Because my, what I say is offensive. Porque lo que digo es ofensivo. I took a picture of it because you just would not believe it. Yo tomé una foto de ello porque no lo podríamos creer. And I sent it to Antonio and said, look what just happened. Y se lo envié a Antonio y le dije, mira lo que sucedió. They done blocked my personal page. Que bloquearon mi página personal. Somebody praise the Lord. Alguien que alabe al Señor. Because that means I'm doing things right. Porque eso significa que estoy haciendo las cosas bien. When the world gets mad. Cuando el mundo se enfocona. If the world applauds you. Si el mundo te aplaude. And they like you too much. Y tú les caes muy bien. That means that you're not being confrontational with the gospel. Eso es que tú no le está trayendo confrontación con el evangelio so to God be the glory Así que Dios sea la gloria. shut me down uh, me puedes cancelar. we're still going to preach the gospel como quiera, vamos a predicar el evangelio. COVID can come Puede venir el COVID. we're still going to preach the gospel vamos a predicar el evangelio. sickness and disease can come la enfermedad puede venir. but we're going to preach the gospel Pero vamos a predicar el evangelio. regardless of what's happening no importa lo que esté sucediendo. Proof, church. La iglesia proof church we will continue to preach the gospel Continuaremos predicando el evangelio. Jesus is coming back Jesus viene de regreso. I'm going to say that again Jesus is coming back
I want to speak to you Así que quiero hablarte from Matthew chapter 25. De Mateo capítulo 25. And um, I do have a word and I'm going to try my best to get through it today. If you didn't see last week's message, make sure to go to YouTube or Facebook. So that you can go ahead and um, learn some things that we talked about last week. God, I pray right now. That you not only anoint me to speak, but that you would anoint us to hear what you have to say to your people. God, have your way. Speak how you want to speak. In Jesus' name. And everyone says, Amen. Come on, you can say Amen louder than that. So pray for me and my daughter. We were not feeling well last night. We don't have COVID. Fevers, we already got tested. <laughs> and we had fevers all last night, could not sleep. We don't know why it's going around. And, but yet at the end of the day, we, we got whatever it is. And uh, I'm still believing God for him to speak even though I may not be feeling well. Some of the leaders said, are you coming in? Well, hell can't stop me from coming in. I feel like this is a fight. And I'm going to fight through this because God gave me a word. What are the odds that I got sick uh, what, who, who would think that I would get sick the week I'm preaching about the return of Christ? That's, that's not coincidence. I'm going to say that again. That's not coincidence. Look at the person next to you and say, when the devil is mad, that means you're doing good. Significa que estás haciendo bien. As we begin our series, Look Up and See, I want to speak about his coming to us. We've spoken about him uh, when the, he sent his Holy Spirit to come in us. The first time Jesus came, La primera vez que Jesús vino, he came by what's called immaculate conception. El vino por lo que se le como una In other words, it's a supernatural birthing. En otras palabras, un nacimiento <clears throat> sobrenatural. Other people have debates on it, but it was a supernatural birthing. Otra gente tienen que debatir el asunto, pero fue un, un nacimiento sobrenatural. The second time he came, la segunda vez que vino, he came by the form of the Holy Spirit. Vino a través de la forma del Espíritu Santo. Born of water and the Word. Nacido del agua but this third time when he comes for us he's coming for you and for me the Bible says that he's going to meet us up in the skies I said he's going to meet us up in the skies we call it the rapture the word rapture is not found in scripture but the definition of the word rapture is which means to be taken away or taken up. So he did not just come to be in us. He didn't just come to be in us. But he's also coming for us. I said Jesus is coming for us. I said Jesus is coming for us. I understand that people want to say that things are going to get better. Things are not going to get better. We're living in prophetic time. It gets better for the church, but it doesn't get better for the world. I'm going to say this again. Things do not get better for the world. But things do get better for the church. Because we have this blessed hope, the Bible says. That Jesus is coming back. 
And that fills me up with joy. Y eso me llena de gozo. Because he's not like all those mini gods out there. Porque él no es como todos esos mini dioses allá. That when they die, they die. Que cuando mueren, mueren. My Jesus died. Mi Jesús murió. He resurrected. Resucitó. He sent us his Holy Ghost. Nos envió su Espíritu Santo. And he's coming back again. Y regresará otra vez. And so I'm excited. Así que estoy emocionado. That we get to preach. That he's coming for us. Title of my message today. Is prepare your lamp. Prepare your lamp. Prepara tu lámpara. If you grew up in church, you may have grown up and you have heard about this message. Quizás creciste y habías escuchado este mensaje. Many years ago, I had the privilege to sit down with a Messianic Jewish rabbi. <coughs> and can I get some water, please? <coughs> and um, thank you. And when they, thank you very much. And when they came, do you need water too? Can you get him some water? Get him some water as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I was able to sit down with him. Pude sentarme con él. And I was able to speak with him about a few things. Y pude hablar con él sobre varios temas. I talked about the prodigal son. Hablamos del hijo pródigo. And how when the Jewish people teach it, y cuando <laughs> los judíos lo enseñan, it's talking about the battle between the older brother, which is the church, and the younger brother, which is the Jewish people. Se refieren al hermano mayor que es la iglesia y el hermano menor que es la gente judía. And the battle and how their perspective of what it means. Y la batalla en la perspectiva de lo que significa. But then we spoke about this topic about what I'm going to speak on preparing your lamp. Pero entonces hablamos sobre este tópico que es preparar tu lámpara. I want to speak on three specific type of people. Quiero hablar acerca de tres tipos de personas específicamente. If you're writing notes, I want you to write this down. Si estás escribiendo notas, quiero que escribas esto. Number one, I want to speak about the wise. Número uno, quiero hablar de los sabios. Number two, I want to speak about the uncut. Eh, número dos, quiero hablar de los no cortados. And then number three, I want to speak about the foolish. Y el número tres, quiero hablar de los necios o insensatos. And it's important that we speak about this three type of people because it's in the church. <laughs> Go with me to Matthew chapter 25 if you please. When you hear me say the church, I mean universally. Not just proof church. Because the church is not just proof church. So it's important that we understand that. Así que importante que entendamos eso. Matthew 25, verse 1 through 4, if you can go with me there. Mateo capítulo 25, versículos 1 al 4, por favor. It says, then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Entonces el reino de los cielos será semejante a las diez vírgenes que tomando sus lámparas salieron a recibir al esposo. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Cinco de ellas eran prudentes y cinco insensatas. Those who were foolish took their foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Las insensatas tomando sus lámparas no tomaron consigo aceite. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Mas las prudentes tomaron aceite en sus vasijas juntamente con sus lámparas. Now, here we have specifically 10 virgins aquí ahora tenemos diez vírgenes who went out to meet the bridegroom que fueron a encontrarse con el novio. and I understand that to some of you or if not many of you you heard this story growing up but I'm going to come from a different perspective Pero quiero llegar de una perspectiva diferente. because as I studied this I saw some things Porque mientras estudié esto, vi unas cosas. why virgins ¿Por qué vírgenes? Because they haven't had the touch of another God. Ellas no han el toque de otro Dios. I'm going to say that again. Voy a decir eso otra vez. This is a representation Esto es una representación of the church de la iglesia. and Jesus. Y Jesús. 
And Jesus is saying that there are five foolish in the church. Y Jesús está diciendo que hay cinco insensatas en la iglesia. And there are five unwise in the church hay, or, or, or wise in the church. Y hay cinco que son sabias en la iglesia. And then he says here that the problem is that there are, why do we call them virgins? He calls them virgins because they had not gone after another groom. They had not been touched by any other man. The church is pure. La iglesia es pura. The church is holy. La iglesia es santa. The church is not a place but a people. La iglesia no es un lugar sino una gente. I want you to think about that and let that simmer in a little bit. Quiero que pienses en eso y deja lo que se siente. That Jesus is coming out and he's saying my, my bride is holy. Que Jesús viene y dice mi esposa es santa. But yet five in the church are foolish and five are wise. Pero aún así en la iglesia hay cinco sabias y cinco insensatas. The five Five wise virgins, virgins rushed out to meet him. Las cinco vírgenes sabias salieron corriendo a donde él. But they, pre but they prepared before he came. Pero estaban preparadas antes de que él llegara. They made sure their lamps were ready and full of oil. Se aseguraron que sus lámparas estaban listas y llenas de aceite. But the five foolish. Pero las cinco insensatas. They rushed out to meet him. Se apuraron para ir a encontrarse con él. But the lamps were empty. Pero sus lámparas estaban vacías. They never took the time to prepare the lamp and fill them with oil. The five wise virgins made sure that the oil was there. Because if the groom came at night, the light would lead him to where to go. Hmm. So whether they're asleep or awake, Así que si despiertas, the durmiendo, oil and light el y la luz, would show him that they're ready. Le a él que ellas I feel the Holy Ghost. Sí. I'm, I'm trying to keep calm. Estoy de but I feel the glory of the Lord. Pero la del Señor. The five foolish virgins, Las cinco they thought that as long as I have the lamp, that's all that I need if he comes then I'll take the time to fill up the lamp with oil if he comes then I wouldn't have wasted any oil so in other words I'll have the form of godliness but deny the power thereof it's important that you read verse 1 again es importante que leas el versículo 1 otra vez. It says that the kingdom of heaven is likened to ten virgins. Dice que el reino de los cielos es semejante a diez vírgenes. Who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Que tomaron sus lámparas y salieron a encontrarse con el novio. I had never seen the word likened before. Nunca había visto la palabra semejante antes. The virginity the scripture is talking about is purity. La virginidad que la palabra describe es pureza. It, this is incredible Esto es increíble. because you have two types of virgins Porque tiene dos tipos de virgenes in the church en la iglesia that have never touched any other God que nunca han tocado otro Dios. but yet you have the wise and the unwise Pero aún así tienes las sabias y las whether the virgins were ready or not Aunque la virgen estuviera lista o no, it will not stop the groom from coming no detendría que el novio llegase. church listen to me iglesia, escucha. whether you're ready or not este es listo o no. it is not going to stop Jesus from coming no va a The Bible says that Jesus is coming in the twinkling of an eye. When you least expect it. The Bible says we don't know the day or the hour. But I want to ask you this question. Are you the wise virgin? Or are you the foolish virgin? The wise virgin, virgins made sure the oil was There and in place. Las vírgenes sabias aseguraron que la lámpara el aceite estaban ahí en orden. The wise virgins didn't have the oil nearby. Las mujeres sabias, las vírgenes sabias no tenían el aceite cerca. They had it where it belonged. Lo tenían donde pertenecía. 
How can we say we are prepared ¿Cómo podemos decir que estamos preparados? without having anything in place? Sin ten, sin tener nada en su lugar. It can still be a house and not at home. Puede ser una casa, pero no un hogar. It can be considered a car even without an engine. Puede ser considerado un carro, aunque no tenga motor. You can still be considered a Christian without any oil. Puede ser considerado cristiano y no tener aceite. A house is not a home until you're in it. Una casa no es una casa hasta que tú no estás allí. No es un hogar. Un hogar. A car cannot run without an engine in it. Un carro no puede correr sin un motor en él. And a Christian is not ready for his return until you have oil in you. If you take time to notice, si tomas tiempo para notar, in scripture God called the wise and the unwise virgins. Eh, eh, Dios llamó a las vírgenes sabias y a las insensatas. Their purity was never in question. Su pureza nunca fue cuestionada. I'm going to say that again. ¿Puedo decir eso otra vez? Just because five of them were not ready Solo porque cinco de ellas no estaban listas. doesn't mean they weren't pure. No significaba que no eran puras. <laughs> the desire for the bridegroom was never in question. El deseo del novio nunca fue cuestionado. You wanting the return of Jesus is not in question. El tú querer el regreso de Jesucristo no está cuestionado. But what was in question was their preparedness. Pero lo que está siendo cuestionado es su, si estaban preparadas. This tells us that you can be pure and not be ready. Esto no puede decir que puede ser puro pero no estar listo. I'm going to say that again. Puede decir eso otra vez. You can be pure. Puede ser puro. You can worship. Puede adorar. You can praise God. Puede alabar a Dios. We can dress with the right clothes. No podemos vestir con la ropa correcta. We can sing the right songs. Podemos cantar las canciones correctas. We can pray. Podemos orar. We can speak in tongues. Podemos hablar en lengua. We can cry in his presence. Podemos llorar en su presencia. We can tell people about Jesus. Le podemos decir a la gente de Jesús. But if we don't prepare for the return of Jesus, pero si no nos preparamos then all of it is pointless if we're not ready for the groom it is all pointless if we don't have oil in our lanterns then we're empty of his return so it is not enough to perform in other words you cannot perform as if you're getting on a stage and I've got to worship but I'm not having sex before marriage but I'm not gossiping but I'm not lying I keep the Ten Commandments but I'm not ready for the return of Jesus then you stay the Bible says two shall be at the field and one and they'll both be working they're both working they're both working I'm going to say that again they're both in the field they're both working but only one goes and one stays because God is trying to tell the church your worship does not get you to heaven your praise does not get you to heaven but is your heart ready for my return is your heart ready for my glory is your heart ready so that you can give it all to me I don't just need another nice show Song. I just need you to be ready because I'm coming. You need the oil. You need the oil. You need the oil. You need the oil. If there's no oil, there's no anointing. If there's no anointing, there's no presence. I told you I'm coming from a different perspective. If there is an oil anointing, there's no presence. When Jesus comes back, he's going to be looking for those whose lamp is full of oil and lit up. Luke chapter 18 verse 18 says this. Luke 
And it's from the New King James Version. This is not, but, but I'm going to read it to you. It says, when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth? Os digo que cuando venga el Hijo del Hombre, hallará fe en la tierra. When the Son of Man comes, cuando el Hijo del Hombre venga, this is Jesus speaking. Este es Jesús hablando. He says, when I come back, cuando, él dice, cuando yo regrese, will I find faith encontraré fe on the earth? En la tierra. Do you have the oil? Tendrás el aceite. Or are you dried up? O está seco. Matthew 25, 5 through 7 says, Mateo 25, 5 al 7 dice, It says, but while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. Y tartándose el esposo, cabecearon todas y se durmieron. Please stop right there. Por favor, detente ahí. Just hold that right there. Don't take it down. It says, but while the bridegroom was delayed, dice, y tardándose el esposo, I had never noticed this before. Nunca había notado esto anteriormente. A delay means I should have come at a different time. Tardándose significa que debí de haber llegado en otro momento. But I didn't come on the time Pero that no, I was appointed to come. No vine en ese momento designado para yo llegar. Because something slowed me down from coming. Porque algo me detuvo para yo llegar. In other words, Otras palabras, this tells me, esto me dice, that the reason that Jesus is delayed it's because the church isn't ready. <laughs> you missed it. You, you, I know it's hitting people hard. You should have shouted right there. It says that Jesus should have come at a specific time. But the church is not ready. Because why? They all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard. Behold the bridegroom is coming. Go to meet him. Then all those virgins. Arose. And trimmed their lamps. Oh. In, in the word here says it trimmed their lamps. Su palabra aquí, la palabra dice arreglaron sus lámparas. They cut away the piece that was of no use so they could burn it again. Ellos cortaron ese pedacito que no servía ya para usarlas otra vez. The word trimmed. La palabra arreglar. In this scripture means. En esta escritura significa. To put in order. Poner en orden. To arrange. Arreglar. To make ready. Hacer listo. To prepare. Preparar. Oh my God, the lamps back in the day were lit by putting thread in the oil. Go back to that picture, please. In here, there was a piece of thread right through here. And they would dip it in oil first. And then they'd push it through so that you can then light it up. Entonces, ellos lo empujaban para poder prenderlo. And so then when they would turn on the gas, Entonces, cuando aumentaban el gas, it would begin, you would light it up. Lo, lo encendías. And the oil that you already had dipped it in y el aceite en el cual ya lo había sumergido. would get then sucked in through the cloth that was already with the oil on the bottom. Era absorbido hasta el aceite que estaba abajo. And so now when you lit it up, it stayed lit. Entonces ahora cuando lo encendía se mantenía encendido. Until you turned it off. Hasta que apagases. But there was a problem. Pero había un problema. When the wick was burned. Eh, cuando la mecha se quemaba. Or used up. O usada. It would be cut so that the fresh oil. Era cortada para que el aceite fresco. Or the fresh oil part of the wick would burn with fresh oil. O en otras palabras, eh, la mecha fresca ardiese con el aceite fresco. What do you have to cut? ¿Qué tienes que cortar? What is it that God is telling you? ¿Qué es lo que Dios te está diciendo? I understand that you're pure. Entiendo que eres puro. I understand that you're a virgin. Entiendo que eres virgen. But there's something that you have to cut. Pero hay algo que tienes que cortar. So that my fire can burn brightly. Para que mi fuego pueda arder más brilloso. Because I have this thing at home. Porque tengo esta cosa en casa. 
and I have these, these tiki lights. Tengo esta luce, estas lámparas de tiki. And so I have them around my house in the backyard. Las tengo en la parte de atrás de mi casa. And I was reading the instructions. Estaba leyendo las instrucciones. And it says after you've dipped them in the oil. Y dice después que las hayas sumergido en el aceite. And after three to four months, make sure to cut the top. Y después de tres o cuatro meses, asegúrate que cortes la parte arriba. Because what will happen is that that part that is overly burned. Porque lo que sucede es que esa parte que ha sido sobrequemada. If it's not taken care of. Si no se cuida. Will not allow the oil to come through. No permitirá que el aceite sea absorbido. So that it can burn. Para que pueda eh, hervir. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Y te voy a decir esto ahora. If you are not cutting things out of your life. Si no estás cortando cosas de tu vida. Then do not wonder why the oil is not flowing. Entonces no te preguntes por qué el aceite no está fluyendo. If the oil is stopped up. Si el, el aceite está amontonado. My question to you is, have you cut what doesn't belong? Entonces, mi pregunta para ti es, ¿has cortado lo que no pertenece? Some of us have to cut relationships. Algunos tenemos que cortar relaciones. Some of us have to cut, and oh, I'm going to say, I don't care if they are a Christian, you have to cut relationships. Lo voy a decir, no importa si son cristianos, tienes que recortar las relaciones. Some of you have to cut people. Tienes que cortar gente. Because some of these people, porque alguna de esta gente, they may be virgins, quizás sean vírgenes, but they're not ready. Pero no están listos. What caused you not to cut the wick ¿Qué te ha causado que no cortes la mecha? that would have produced fresh oil to burn in your life? Que produciría ese aceite fresco que en tu vida. You can have a lamp, tener una lampara, but have no oil. Pero no aceite. And if there's no oil, y si no hay aceite, then there's no point. Entonces no hay ningún sentido. Are you learning something today, church? ¿Estás aprendiendo algo hoy, iglesia? I pray the gospel is confronting you. You know, when I pray, before I go to sleep, I say, Lord, I'm going to sleep today. <laughs> and I begin to bind and plead the blood of Jesus over my mind. So that when I dream, I dream the heart of God. And then I say, Lord, don't forget about me when you come. I don't know when you're coming, but just in case. And if this is the day where you decide to take me, make sure you take me. I've, I've learned that death comes for anybody. Regardless of age. I just want to make sure that my oil is full. In the lamp. Go with me to Matthew 25. Ve a Mateo, eh, 25. Verse 8 through 9. 8 al 9. It says, and the foolish said to the wise. <laughs> Dice, y las insensatas dijeron a las prudentes. Give us some of your oil. Danos de vuestro aceite. For our lamps <laughs> are going out. I bet you never realized that that said that before when you read that. Keep going. But the wise answered saying, No. No. Lest there should not be enough for us and you. But go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. Para que no nos falte a nos a nosotras y a vosotras y más bien a los que venden y comprar para vosotras mismas. This is so good. Esto es esto es super bueno. This is so good. Esto es super bueno. I'm finishing. I'm finishing. Estoy terminando. This is the first time I hear Jesus. Esta es la primera vez que escucho a Jesús. Telling us to be selfish. De es decir que seamos egoístas. This is the first time I hear Jesus. Esta es la primera vez que yo escucho a Jesús. Where Jesus came out and said, he said, tell them no. Que Jesús dijo, dile a ellos no. Get your own oil. Eh, busca tu propio aceite. This oil cost me too much for me to give it away. Este aceite me costó mucho para yo regalarlo. Go to see if you can buy some of those that sell it. Ve a ver si puedes comprarlo de aquellos que lo venden. In other words. En otras palabras. I know if I share it. Yo sé que si lo comparto, there won't be enough for both. No habrá suficiente para ambos. In other words, en otras palabras, I can let you feel. Yo te puedo dejar sentir. See, 
que lo veas. and touch the anointing y la but you can't have it Pero no la tener. because you got to fight for your own oil tú que por tu I can give you an impartation Yo te puedo dar una but to the impartation of something you already have Pero a una de lo que ya tú get your own oil Busca tu this cost me too much to share with you Esto me costó mucho para I need to stay ready for his arrival me tengo que estar listo para su I had to give up my family I had to give up family I had to give up friends I had to give up finances I had to give up time and I had to give up self so that I can get some of this oil please understand when it comes about oil you want anointing oh it takes sacrifice it takes loss because Because people are going to talk about you. La gente va a de ti. They may be in the congregation. Está en la oh, but I came to tell you today. Oh, pero yo vine a hoy. You're getting ready for Jesus. Te para Jesús. I understand that you're alone. Que estás solo. I understand it doesn't make sense. Que no hace I understand that this is crazy. Que esto oh, locura. but the oil. Oh, pero el the sa salvation is free. La es but the anointing will cost you everything salvation is free but I can't give you my oil I've lost too much I've given up too much for me to give you my oil go find it somewhere else but I had a sacrifice for this Uh, you don't want to pay the price for it. And they want to beg you for a piece of what took a life process to get. You've lost your ever loving mind. If you think that I'm going to stop preparing so that I can give you my oil you've got to get your own you've got to fight for your own I've got to be ready for when it's my time to go the bridegroom is coming the bridegroom is coming I said the bridegroom is coming and I need my own oil I can't share this one with you no puedo compartir este contigo. I can't share this oil with you. No puedo compartir este aceite contigo. You want me to help you? Quieres que te ayude? I can help you. Te, no te puedo ayudar. I can help no, you. Te puedo ayudar. But I can't give to you. Pero no te puedo dar. I can tell you where to go. Te puedo decir dónde ir. I can tell you where to get it. Te puedo decir dónde recibirlo. But I can't give you mine. Pero no te puedo dar el mío. Because the bridegroom, the bridegroom is coming. Porque el novio viene. The bridegroom is coming. El novio viene. The bridegroom is coming. El novio viene. He's coming for you. El viene por ti. And he's coming for me. Viene por mí. Matthew 25, 10 through 13 says. Mateo capítulo 25, versículo 10 al 13 dice. And while they went to buy, Pero mientras ellas iban a comprar, uh, the bridegroom came. Vino el esposo. And those who were ready went in with him. Y las que estaban preparadas entraron con él. To the wedding. A las bodas. And the door y la puerta was shut. Se cerró. Afterward. Después, the other virgins came also saying Lord, Lord, open to us vinieron también las otras vírgenes diciendo Señor, Señor, ábrenos but he answered and said assuredly I say to you mas él respondiendo dijo de cierto os digo I do not know you que no os conozco watch therefore velá pues For you neither know you don't, you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. Porque no sabéis el día ni la hora en que el hijo del hombre ha de venir. Five 
were ready. Cinco estaban listas. In the church. En la iglesia. Five were not ready. Cinco no estaban listas. In the church. En la iglesia. This tells me the church is divided. Esto me dice a mí que la iglesia está dividida. Universally. Universalmente. That half are ready. Que la mitad están listos. And the other half are not. Y la otra mitad no. Because of the day coming. Porque llegará el día. When Jesus. Cuando Jesús. Is going to take the church. Tomará la iglesia. And those that stay. Aquellos que se quedan. They said, but I want to go get it. Dirán, pero fuimos a buscarlo. But I want to go get the oil. Pero fui a buscar el aceite. You were delayed, God. Eh, de, Dios, tú te tardaste. I wasn't late. You were late. Yo no estaba tarde. Tú estaba tarde. Jesus, but we thought you were coming on this day. Jesús, pero pensábamos que venías en este día. You, we thought you were coming on that day. Pensábamos que llegarías en aquel día. And you were delayed. Y tú te tardaste. So I delayed. Así que yo me tardé. And then Jesus says, "It's too late." Y entonces Jesús dirá, ya es muy tarde. I told you to be ready. Yo te dije que estuvieras preparada. Church, iglesia, do not allow the delay of Christ. No permitas que la tardanza de Cristo. I love it because Jesus prepared for this statement. Eh, eh, me encanta porque Jesús se preparó para esta declaración. For thousands of years they've been saying that Jesus is coming y no viene. Por eh, miles de años eh, están diciendo que Jesús viene, he's not coming. Why would I believe in a God that he here he comes he says he's coming but he ain't coming? Porque voy a creerle a un Dios que dice que va a venir y no viene. But I've learned that delay is not denial. Pero yo he entendido que la tardanza no es negarlo. Jesus said he's going to be delayed. Jesús dijo que él va a estar tarde. This this is important. I've never heard this before. Esto es importante. Esto yo no lo había escuchado antes. I've read this scripture my whole life. Yo he leído esta escritura toda mi vida. There was a corito in Spanish y las que estaban apercibidas fueron con él. Estarás tú velando como las diez vírgenes y a la medianoche llegó el esposo y las que estaban apercibidas fueron con él. And I grew up singing that song. Y yo crecí escuchando y cantando esa canción. And I grew up hearing the scripture y crecí escuchando esta escritura. but I never noticed Pero nunca había notado that Jesus said que Jesús dijo that the bridegroom will delay que el novio se tardaría. have you ever seen that? ¿Habías notado eso antes? have you ever heard that? ¿Habías escuchado eso? that Jesus is late coming on purpose que Jesús ha, se ha tardado a propósito. Because he's trying to get you get to get time so you can get the oil. Porque te está dando tiempo para que busques tu aceite. He's giving you time to get ready. Te está dando tiempo para que te prepare. Not because he wants to catch you with an empty oil lamp. No porque quiere encontrarte con una lámpara vacía. It's because he wants to get you ready. Es porque quiere prepararte. Don't get caught without the oil. No seas sorprendido sin el aceite. Oh, but Jesus is coming now. He's coming now. Oh, porque Jesús viene ahora, viene I, ahora. I heard the trumpet sound. Escuché la trompeta sonar. Get the oil now. I heard the trumpet sound. Busca, busca el aceite. Escuché la trompeta sonar. It's too late. Ahí será muy tarde. The trumpet sounded. La trompeta sonó. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Los muertos en Cristo resucitarán primero. And those that are left will go up with him. Y aquellos que queden regresarán. It's too late. Es muy tarde. Once judgment is established. Cuando el juicio se ha establecido. His delay. Su tardanza is your time for preparedness. Es tu tiempo para que te prepares. His delay. Su tardanza is on purpose. Es a propósito. So that he doesn't have to look at us. Para que él no tenga que mirarnos. And say, I don't know you. Y decirnos, no te conozco. We can all please stand. Todos podemos estar de pie. I was telling the staff in the office this week. I said, "My God, this is going to mess. This is messing me up." 
dije, Dios mío, esto, esto me está rompiendo. You could be pure tú ser puro and be wrong at the same time. Y estar mal a la misma vez. Ah. 